Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. On to race number four we go, which is the start of jackpot 125 past two, the off time, 1,000 meters the distance. The Feliz and Mez, 82 handicap, where your favorite is number five, Nettleton at 18 to 10. It's seven to two about number six, Kennedy, six to one about War Empress, 10 to one about Isn't She Bonnie, Witchwood, Rapid Fire, and then it is 12 to one and Better Ball. Those, now Johan Janssen for Johan Janssen van Vuren is in town and he's got um, some nice runners on the day and uh, Nettleton is certainly one of those. Over the 1000 meter trip, it is a distance which I think is a bit on the sharper side for I think she's a better horse over 1200 meters but in saying that her last two starts have been over the five furlongs and she's, she's run good races, beating in the ether having to concede six kgs and then last time out just found law of success too good so i think hollywood best castle could suit her quite nicely and she's definitely a runner that i think will run a nice race but uh, the horse that um, is my top selection is number six kennedy now uh, last time out uh, she uh, just found one too good on the day la premier and uh, la premier had the one and a half kgs off the back end at the weight she was set to turn the form around with kennedy and she only got the job done late on in the day I think with Kennedy, it's all about um, all about if she goes down to start in the right frame of mind because she seems to be a horse that does have a bit of a mind of her own, but she's clearly got the ability. She's won three times from eight starts. On a mark of 75, it does look to be a mark that she can continue to work on, continue, continue to work off. And uh, I think there's certainly uh, quite a bit more to come from uh, this daughter of William Longsword. She's only had eight starts, so um, there's... Um, there's obviously scope for improvement still and uh, three starts in KZN, she's won twice and she's run second one so you can't fault on a form that she has uh, produced in KZN and I think with 56 and a half kgs on the back I think Hollywood Bet Scott will suit her down to the T and I think she's a massive runner so she's going to be the top selection for me followed by number five Nettleton. I think a horse like Isn't She Bonnie, last time out disappointing, she didn't really uh, put her best foot forward when uh, meeting a competitive lineup but I think a back uh, back uh, in this uh, sort of division. I think that she could run a nice race at Class C contest. She gets the one and a half kgs off the back. I think that she could be a runner. Almost like there she goes with the four kgs off the back. She certainly comes into the race. She is down in class on a previous uh, start and um, she could certainly make a presence felt. She is held by number five Nettleton on, on that run to law of success so you would uh, be a bit surprised if she were to turn the form around. She's um, got three lengths to find with Nettleton and they meet on the same weight term so it's going to be interesting to see if she can turn the form around with number five Nettleton. I think a horse like War Empress, a filly that um, will enjoy the Hollywood Bet's gospel. She um, she seems like a horse that enjoys getting a nice toe into the race and she's got a nice uh, nice running on her. Although it does seem to be a short purse, she does seem to finish off a race quite nicely. And then a horse that has been on my radar for quite some time, number 11, Rapid Fire. Now, um, the four kgs is no longer available here. Brevin Plyke's rides, there she goes, as opposed to number 11, Rapid Fire. Daryl Daniels takes a ride, and uh, she's on a mark of 77. I think Hollywood Bet Scottsville is a track that suits her, especially over the five furlongs. And I think that she's a runner that can run a nice race. She's at around 10 to 1 in the market. Her last start, I thought a bit unlucky. She didn't have much luck in running, and she ran on quite nicely. She was beaten two and a half lengths, and that was behind No Filter, who takes her place in... Uh, the Kuzulu and Natal stakes on Sunday. So I think Rapid Fire could certainly be a nice lurker to get involved uh, into the play. And then you've got this horse, Maquette, who uh, seems to be an absolute revelation at the track. Whenever she runs at Hollywood Best Gospel, she's always um, a factor. And uh, her form over the distance is absolutely lethal. 22 runs for six victories and four seconds. She does have a big weight to shoulder, which could just play against her. But she's a horse that uh, I don't think you can really ignore from those trifectas and quartets. And then looking, uh, looking at the balance of the field here, yeah, maybe horses like... Uh, 
Jane's vision and uh, vision to achieve could be runners to include into those uh, trifectas and quartets. But uh, for me, I'm going to be playing around numbers five and six in terms of the place accumulator and buy pots. I'll throw those two numbers in along with number 11, Rapid Fire, who is the dark horse for me in race number four. And I think that um, if a Rapid Fire happened to come through and run a big race and maybe even get the job done, I think that's a brilliant result in the pick six because a lot of tickets will fall away and um, Rapid Fire does seem to offer some decent value at 10 to 1. But uh, that's the each way play in the race. The top selection is number 6, Kennedy. Well, I think um, there is quite a bit of improvement still to come. And uh, she does seem to be a filly that's uh, on the right track, doing all the right things at the moment. And um, if she puts her best foot forward, well, then she'll run a massive race. And don't need discount number 5, Nettleton, as well. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town.